ready to discuss the game. Coach Schwitzler, first of all, congratulations for your first win in this campaign of uh, 2025 Afghan qualifiers. Uh, tell us about uh, the performance of your team. I mean, tell us some key moments that influenced the outcome of the result. Yes, uh, good evening. Uh, it was the uh, expected very difficult match against uh, a strong team. Um, we tried to uh, press them and to be aggressive, uh, don't give them space. Also, we tried to avoid these long balls, we tried to avoid corner balls. Uh, especially, we, we try to avoid making stupid mistakes. Um, so I think at the beginning, at the beginning, uh, even we, yeah, at the beginning we also had a chance. Uh, we were playing good football. Um, you heard from my colleague, the ground unfortunately is is not very good. Um, so there also are happenings some unnecessary loss of balls also because my players try to to compete with these bodies of uh, the Benin players by dribbling with the ball through the midfield and then we lose balls and uh, yeah then you could see the quality uh, by this Benin uh, squad uh, they get one chance and then it's clear it's a clear pass uh, through the box and uh, okay then if if one of these guys is coming with uh, like a bus, uh, then uh, you can't defend. So it's uh, it's one zero for them, and sure, this is a very disappointing situation uh, for the team. When when you try hard, and then you you are more or less in good hope. You are, you you are good in the game, and then something like that is happening. Uh, but uh, uh, I have to to congratulate my players because uh, sure there was a little bit uh, head downs um, but uh, it, it didn't take long and uh, it was short before the, the half time so in the half time I told them uh, it's only 45 minutes we still have 45 minutes left and uh, in the meeting this morning I told them even if things go wrong we fight until the last minute. Also for the people who are coming to the to the stadium. Uh, this is what we have to do and then we have to see what is coming out. And that's what they did. They came out and they they were really fighting for coming back in the match. Okay, then uh, uh, we got our chances. We, we had even some, some dangerous balls in the box where we Sometimes or we, we are not clever enough uh, to use these situations. Uh, we need too much of these situations, but okay, in the end, uh, we get the ball in and this 1-1, this uh, the, the mood was, was totally back and also the support from, uh, from the spectators. And uh, I think it was a, it was a penalty. Uh, um, he didn't get the ball, he just uh, put the leg in. Um, if he touched the ball, then it's not a penalty, but uh, I think it was a penalty. And so we got in the lead and okay, <coughs> then you, you saw um, in, in the end it's uh, fighting for every ball and uh, they, they try to use uh, their the advantage with high balls, but uh, we were defending very well. Today there was everybody at the guy who he, who he should be, and uh, in the end I think it was a, a deserved win. Thank you. Questions to Spitla <coughs> Gakuma. First of all, let me say congratulations for the big points today. Um, first half was one in favor of the uh, I must I personally hope that they are going to. Be more dangerous with their creativity and the quality of the, of the, of the, of the, of the bench. 
uh, one detail that was actually to capitalize on to get the three points. We made a change uh, the substitution of uh, uh, Judea, the voting uh, uh, possible. What was the objective? What was the idea? Yeah, okay, I, I, I know that Bosco uh, is a positive example for, for all the other players. Um, you, can take, you can put him wherever you want, and he is starting from the first second fighting. And that's what I told him. You have to go there, be an example for everybody else. And that's what he did. Uh, he was... He was fighting, he was uh, running after the ball, he was not giving up. And I think it was also a key moment that the others saw exactly that's how it has to be. And they were following him and, uh, okay, it's always a little bit of luck. Uh, then, uh, but uh, I think we deserve, you have to deserve, deserve it. And um, I think uh, that's what happened. Not subscribed yet. Hmm? Capitalize on to get the three points. That's what I'm going to have. But uh, what you had the weakness of the opponent, but you capitalize on to get the three points. The, did you see a weakness the, at the opponent? No, no, I, I, I'm, 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 I I'm, didn't. Saying, I'm, I'm talking about the need. What did you capitalize on to get the three points? Because you need to learn to very few no, chances. Oh, you have to. Uh, sure, you, first, that's what we did. We tried not to give them a lot of chances. They, I think they have. They haven't had a lot. Huh? Um, and uh, in these, in against teams like that, you ha have to come in the match by fighting, and that's what we did. Uh, and uh, you saw then uh, <coughs> through this fighting spirit, uh, the other team get nervous. Uh, and if you then make a goal, okay, this is helping. Uh, this is pushing the other team down, and uh, it's uh, giving yourself uh, confidence. And uh, that's what I said. I said it's uh, it's 45 minutes. It's not over. We have 45 minutes, and if we score, then we are back in the game, and that's exactly what happened. Uh, uh, all the other things, uh, I tell them now for for eight months or something like that. Uh, they know what to do. They know what to do in the different situations. Um, and uh, okay, sometimes you 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 score. Sometimes you don't score. Then you win or you lose. Coach, uh, you are doing an amazing job here in Rwanda. People are seeing uh, our creation in how uh, our team plays. Uh, you have what you call the kick and rush. Players tell us that you don't like it. When a player uh, just shoot the ball and run just with no idea, uh, you like short passes as they used to be us. So, uh, in your stay here in Rwanda, as you are trying to build the team, what are some challenges that you are facing? Uh, do you have like some places where you say maybe if I get another player, two players? Uh, what is the challenge so far in your in your space here in Rwanda? What is the challenge? Okay, you. Uh, I think you see in 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 important moments, you you see the quality of the other players uh, and and this uh, this morning i told my players they have players in the team uh, if i would i would like to buy him i have to sell sell my whole team because these guys are value uh, five times more than than uh, than our whole team uh, and and this value is somehow telling something about the quality of a player and uh, you see how they how they uh, use their body to protect the ball, how they use their body to to pass the ball back to the next guy, and and uh, it this value is something that they know how to play football, and they have the body. So it's uh, as higher you come, it's also a physical game. Huh? And uh, okay. <laughs> I'm unfortunately I'm always working with with national teams that are uh, not the biggest guys. Huh? Um, 
but then you have to to try to do it with uh, with team spirit and i can tell you this team is really a good team um, um, and that's what i said we uh, we can only do it uh, together because we don't have these these some players who can make it by themselves as as the other teams and uh, okay this is not always working this is not always working but uh, uh, i'm happy uh, about the result and how our players played because <clears throat> even if we are playing long balls uh, this i said uh, the first the first moment what you have to do is look deep and if you see space play the ball behind the defense line and then the other guy has to cross in and this very often happened now especially in the second half and uh, so it's not just kick kick and rush if we play some long balls then there is a sense behind it and the players know where they should play the ball and the other player know where he should run uh, you're not always getting the ball but uh, uh, i think especially in the second half it it worked quite well and also Inshuti was doing today a really good job against this, uh, I say again, positive monsters of, of uh, center defenders. Huh? How, he, uh, how he is protecting the ball and, and saving the ball. So this was, a, was a, a great match and I'm very happy that he scored uh, also today. And uh, yeah, today I can take anybody out and can say he, he did a good job. And uh, that's necessary. Otherwise, you don't win. Always one question. I can't remember two. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so, the first game against this game was uh, 3 and that uh, removed. Mm. Yeah. Okay. Uh, first, I think it's very sad that people and also you as the media guys are just looking on the result. I think this is not fair. Huh? Um, uh, even uh, we lost the last match, I think we didn't play a bad match against them. And uh, um, now if people think, okay, uh, they lost again, now I don't come to the stadium, I only come when they're winning, huh? uh, then they have to go to Brazil or somewhere, uh, I don't know. Huh? Um, uh, we are a team that is not, uh, is not on the world-class level, uh, so we will lose against good teams, we have a chance to win if we are fighting as today, but to, ex to expect if you come to the stadium uh, and you only come to the stadium when you are winning, yeah, then f this is not a fan for me. A fan is someone who is, 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 uh, is supporting in good times and in bad times. So uh, I'm very happy about these that uh, were coming today and I don't take care about these guys who are not coming today because they think they only, only want to see uh, winning teams. Huh? Then they should play... Uh, I don't know, something with the handy PlayStation, uh, PlayStation exactly. <laughs> All right. <laughs> ah, the injury. Okay, uh, I don't think it's uh, it's something serious. Huh? Um, also with uh, Manzi, okay, he was for sure not able to play, but uh, it only it's not a serious injury, it's something that hurts, uh, but I think in, in one, two weeks uh, he will be back on, on uh, Field. So I, I'm positive that he is with us in the next FIFA window. Coach, yeah. last time after Chan Jok, one of the players said his statement, like the league is postponed. Yeah. Did they ask you to postpone day six of the league? I don't know what is day six of That's the league. The <laughs> day six of the one of the yeah, uh, what what date are you talking about? I, uh, 
you think I, 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 I'm, I, I have the paper with day six? What is day six? Next weekend. Is it next weekend? Or what is it? This coming weekend. Yeah, this coming weekend we have no, we have no camp. The players are coming back on Monday, so everybody can play on the week and the weekend. Uh, that's what I told my uh, my federation. What my federation is doing, I don't know. That's what I told my federation. So uh, I don't need the players on Sunday or on Monday. I want to go. Uh, I want to have some free time on Sunday and Monday, uh, Saturday and Sunday. Uh, so on Monday, normally the players are coming. I and before the next FIFA window, I also don't take a week. Because now I have the, the boys uh, for so many days. Uh, and if they are really uh, forgetting something in one week, then, it's, then, uh, then I can't use this player. So, so uh, and uh, I'm sure they are not forgetting. Uh, so uh, this means... Normally on, on the weekend, from my side, there is no problem that you play your matches in the league. And uh, normally before the FIFA window in, uh, in November, uh, okay, we, we have to discuss, but I think it is not necessary. So then you can play your league and you can celebrate the 12 foreign players in your teams uh, and, 